Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Julia and I talk about fragrances and perfume on this channel and I would love it if you subscribed. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, turn on notifications. So you probably landed on this video if you were searching for this particular fragrance. I mentioned this recently in um, one of my favorite vanillas and I just, I wasn't done talking about it yet. <laughs> I wanted to wax poetic about Dior Addict Eau de Parfum. So it came out originally in 2002 and the original formulation was by Thierry Wasser. And then it was reformulated I think a few times and the latest reformulation was done in 2014 by Francois Demachy. He does a lot of the Dior, uh, the private range ones. So he's, I don't know if he's like their in-house fragrance person now, perfumer, but he does, um, he did a lot of the, um, the boutique collection, like the Privé collection now for Dior. So he did a reformulation of this in 2014, which is the version that I have. I think I actually smelled this not maybe right at the beginning when it was released, but like mid 2000s is when I first smelled that fragrance. Like I tried it in a store and I was, I, I was immediately drawn to it. I didn't purchase it because at that time I thought it was a little bit too mature for me. I, I really enjoyed it and I thought it was beautiful, but I didn't really see myself wearing it at that point in my life. I wanna say like a few years ago, I kind of wanted to buy it again, but at that point, my mother-in-law was wearing it. And I didn't really wanna purchase a fragrance that my mother-in-law was wearing a lot because I just kind of reminded me of her. So she stopped wearing it and then I was like, okay, now is my time to buy it. This is a beautiful, I would say it, spicy, oriental, slightly woody, floral, vanilla. I I'm trying not to go, like I know I could just read you off all the notes um, from Fragrantica. I'm going to try and explain it more what I get from it. It was always a very intense vanilla fragrance with a white floral element. So there is orange blossom in here and I believe jasmine. So let me just spray this on so I can just get a refresher. So immediately when you spray it, you know usually when you spray fragrance you get this strong like alcohol vibe first. You don't really get that with this, which is, I think, amazing. Immediately when I spray it, I get this green note. And I think that is the mandarin leaf. On the one hand, it's citrusy because it is from a mandarin, so it's like a little bit of citrus, but it's mainly green. So you really smell this sort of leafy, almost stem type of scent. Then you get the florals coming through. So you have this beautiful jasmine and I get orange blossom. So I get strong orange blossom vibes from this. It's like a fresh white floral that you get, but it is quite strong. Like I definitely can smell orange blossom intensely. And then after a while, you get this spicy vanilla. Now, if I look at just, if I just look on the Fragrantica website, for example, it doesn't even really list all the notes. And I think that is because a lot of perfume brands are no longer sharing all the notes that are in their fragrances because from a marketing standpoint, they don't want people to get overwhelmed because most people are not really into fragrance as much as you know we are. I definitely get this spicy, cinnamony, vanilla. So I have the box here. This is the 50 milliliter, by the way. It'll sometimes even give you a clue about the actual notes because it, it has some, for example, it has coumarin in here. Then there's lemon, lemonine, which is the, comes like a derivative of lemon. So it has that slight citrusy note to it. Then it has geranial is slightly the floral element, methoxy cinnamate and cinnamon, cinnamil alcohol. So those are, are the cinnamon elements. So it does have that cinnamon, cinnamony, citrusy vibe to it, but then there is definitely a spicy element to it. Rich, deep vanilla with a lot of cinnamon, and I almost get this kind of Christmassy feeling because at Christmas time, I love to do, you know, baking and stuff. I add a lot of spices to it. I like to add cinnamon to my cookies. I like to add cloves and nutmeg. And so I get that from this. I get this beautiful, deep vanilla 
with a lot of spices to it as well. Now the older iterations of it say, say that there was also sandalwood element in here. And I'm kind of wondering if that's still in here. I feel like there is a woodsy element to it. It's just a super oriental spicy vanilla with this fresh opening and a heavy dose of gorgeous white florals. It's beautiful. Like it's a really, really beautiful fragrance. It definitely does not smell old fashioned whatsoever. It smells refined and elegant. It also smells, I think it smells sexy. It's a statement fragrance. This is not like a, a fragrance that's just like, oh, let me just quickly throw something on to run to the grocery store. No, this is like, this is a very womanly fragrance. This is for someone who wants to make a statement. This is for a woman who knows like she has got her outfit on and she goes to her fragrance section or her drawer or whatever. And she's like, yes, this is the one I'm wearing today. It's like, it's a choice you make to wear that fragrance. I feel like this is very like elegant. It's classy. It's sexy. It's refined and womanly, feminine, creamy from the vanilla, but then you have that spiciness and you have the floral, and but then you also have this green element. It's so interesting. I think this is a stunning fragrance. I only got this recently and I've already made a tint in it because I keep applying it. Um, even though it does last very well on me. It's not the most long lasting fragrance I own. It's not like a 12 or 24 hour fragrance, but it does last. The sillage is nice. People can smell this on you. A lot of designer fragrances, the longevity is so piss poor nowadays that like an hour or two later, you can't smell anymore. Well, this one you can. When I smelled this, like I didn't really know, um, like I couldn't remember that green opening, but then when I smelled it, like, now that I have it, I was like, oh, that opening is really different than the dry down because the dry down is very like vanilla and spices, but the opening is this very fresh green scent. And honestly, I feel like this could be worn by a man also because it's not super, it's not super floral and it's not super sweet. I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of this this winter. It's the perfect winter cold temperature fragrance because it is quite heavy. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of like the holidays, Christmas time, Thanksgiving, stuff like that. I wish that designer fragrance nowadays still had that same caliber. I mean, this came out like early 2000s. Like what has happened to perfumery? Because a lot of the stuff that's released nowadays, I just don't have that same feeling for it. I mean, I don't have the same feelings for a lot of fragrances nowadays than I do for these sort of older releases and even though this has been reformulated i still feel like it's really special and it's very unique you can wear this during the daytime if you are going to be wearing this during the daytime i would say more colder months like i i, I would not wear this in the summer and that's why i didn't wear this in the summer because i feel like it's, just, it's too heavy for summer it doesn't suit fall winter cooler days evening perfect and if you are wearing it on the daytime maybe don't spray as much because it is quite strong perfect for like an elegant night out. It's, it's sexy. Definitely two thumbs up for me, Dior Addict. I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys soon.